Keep that energy up because now it's time, it's time, it's time for your main event! The following contest is a singles match set for one fall and it is for the undisputed WrestleForce Championship! Introducing first, the challenger, Kira! And welcome back everyone to WrestleForce TV. What a match we have in store for you now. Highly anticipated match. Yeah! And long overdue for Kieran Lacey. He's been owed another shot at the Undisputed Championship for a long time now. Uh, it was a dodgy finish he had with Voodoo. The match ended near disqualification, so naturally everyone assumed he would get another chance. But he sustained two consecutive injuries, one after the other. He made a brief return to take on Mark True a couple of times. Went had another injury, but now he's back and long, long overdue. Finally, Kieran Lacey challenges again for the WrestleBall's Undisputed Championship and the title has changed hands in that time. It was me and him who called the match at the Brentwood Theatre where James Terrell won the match and won the championship off Voodoo. James Terrell started as a very questionable character, someone who broke the rules, was a shady champion but recently a huge change in attitude, he's become a very respectable fighting champion. No longer does he use the chalk, no longer does he mistreat his apprentice. And, and apprentice. introducing his opponent, the reigning, defending, WrestleForce undisputed champion, the perfect athlete, James Farrell! James Farrell, in recent times, really living up to that moniker, the perfect athlete. What a contest this is going to be. We have James Farrell in his prime. So far with successful championship defences. Against Voodoo, against Mark True. Incredible non-title showings against Remy Adetunji. And Kieran as well, uh, returning to action this month. Successfully won the Battle Royal in Whitford to be able to challenge James Farrell for the championship in this match, your main event of Tadley. And Kieran Lacey, despite being out of in-ring action due to injuries, hasn't let that stop him going to the gym. He's taking his gym very seriously, already looking in great conditioning and shape. And he's just getting started. He'll tell you all about his, uh, his training regime and plan. Expect to see Kieran gain more muscle mass as time goes on. The bell has rung. We are underway. It is main event time here in Tadley. Kieran Lacey cashing in his title opportunity he earned in that battle royal against the reigning, defending, undisputed WrestleForce champion, James Farrell. Solid hold. We have James Farrell in the blue trunks. Nice transition to a drop toe hold and maintains it as well. Nicely transition to a headlock. Listen to this crowd. Last time we were here, Kieran had a smashing encounter against Jordan Saeed. Where the crowd were also firmly behind him, so it doesn't surprise me that they've uh, that they're behind him again and want to see him win this championship. And now Kieran Lacey controlling the wrist preventing James Farrell from reaching the ropes to get a break. 
Who's your money on, Geo? James Farrell has been such a dominant champion. He brings that Olympic conditioning to his title defences and is proving to be an incredibly tough champion to dethrone. But Kieran Lacey has a lot of momentum behind him. He's on a comeback. He's on a hot streak. This is arguably the most motivated and the most intense we've seen Kieran Lacey. So I think we could see an upset tonight. I think we could see a new WrestleForce undisputed champion crowned right here in Tadley. Indeed. I mean, uh, how much of an upset even is it? Because uh, look how much Kieran has improved in this company. Look at his performance at the last live event in Wickford where he won the Battle Royal to earn this championship match. Can you really say it's that much of an upset? It's very true. And he is on a winning streak, even toppling formidable opponents such as Voodoo. So I think you're right. I could be wrong to call it an upset. It could just be a well-earned, hard-fought victory. And now James Farrell applying that front face lock. Switches to a side head lock. Fantastic technique, but Kieran Lacey shoots him off the ropes, and James Farrell with a big shoulder tackle. tackle that was. One kid asked, why is it so quiet? Well, this is our sixth match. So, there we go, it's not so quiet now, is it? It is our sixth match, the, the crowd are a bit burnt out, but... Um, Kieran and James. Kieran normally loves to hear the child chant his, chant his name. In this occasion, very focused at the task at hand. And he better be because he just got caught in a side headlock. Both competitors very focused. Nice trip. Kieran escaped the headlock and got the trip. Uh, a headlock of his own. And holding on. Kieran's really, well, just as I was about to say. Oh, but he tackled him. Kieran's really gotten good at making his hold stick. Did you see earlier on in the match when Kieran had that wrist lock and how James Farrell couldn't escape it? Kieran held on tight. In fact, James Farrell, for that matter, also held on tight to the headlock. Both men able to make their hold stick. And now the crowd coming alive. Might be quiet at times due to burnout, but... They want some more and more they will get. As I mentioned earlier, James Farrell has Olympic level conditioning, which means that the longer the match goes, I think the more it's in his favor. He just does not get tired. He just doesn't stop. Indeed. Indeed, Kieran has worked on his conditioning and has greatly improved it, but, and no, no disrespect to Kieran, but I will give the upper hand to James. The longer this match goes on, that's a fantastic key lock, though. That's a fantastic nip up to get out of it. And another big knockdown. James Farrell, incredibly talented, but can also be incredibly cocky. Less of that lately. Uh, he's, he's certainly, he certainly isn't disrespecting Kieran. He's not taking him lightly. He's staying focused, as he should. He knows that, that Kieran wants this badly. Kieran's put everything into this. And Kieran actually getting the better of this double knuckle lock exchange. But nice wrestler's bridge from James Farrell. The wrestler's bridge, of course, keeps his shoulders off the mat. Kieran trying to break that restless bridge to get the shoulders back down. Pharrell, monkey climbing out of it. Now James Pharrell has the mount. Nice strength from Kieran to dislodge him. And Pharrell straight back into the side headlock. Kieran wants to be careful now. Be careful, Kieran. Ah, oh, this time James Pharrell holding on tight. Kieran can't even shoot him off. Oh, wow. I was complimenting uh, Kieran earlier on for keeping a hold on, and now I must compliment James Farrell. Oh, he's holding on to that. Very head. intelligent way to get Kieran back to the center. Kieran just had to forearm his way out of that. Nice! Hip toss. Now Kieran Lacey. No, it's James Farrell that shoots Kieran Lacey off the ropes and a big drop kick. 
James Farrell, those incredibly powerful legs, such incredible jumping ability. Kieran looking a little uh, discombobulated. Normally he would be encouraging the crowd to chant for him, but I think he's giving everything and James Farrell's had an answer for it. Kieran Lacey trying to calm himself down. Kieran trying to steal one of the schoolboy pin there. And a headbutt to the abdomen. Code, Kieran. Sunset flip. Waist lock, nice O'Connor roll. James Farrell kicked out. Look at the catch in midair by James Farrell. Such strength. My goodness me. James manages to turn it into a beautiful slingshot suplex. That Olympic strength you mentioned. He caught Kieran in midair. Kieran is uh, currently gaining weight. So as he continues to gain muscle mass, it becomes harder and harder to catch him. Much harder to catch Kieran in mid-air than it was two years ago, I'll tell you that. Kieran kicking for a off. Nice side lush Russian leg sweep. I'm going to say, for the first time in this match, it looks like one competitor has the distinct advantage. And that's James Farrell. Yeah, you're correct, Ollie. What started as a very 50-50 encounter is now firmly... The pace of this match has been controlled firmly by James Farrell. And just as I say that, Kieran Lacey manages to fight out. Oh, come on, Kieran, you can do better than that. Come on. Nice oh, over into black suplex. Almost deadlifting him. On the next WrestleFuls Live event, Kieran Lacey. But James Farrell's going to go one on one with Jay Joshua. And Kieran Lacey is one on one with Jordan Said. It's going to be very interesting to see who, which match is going to be for the Undisputed Championship. Kieran with an up and over this time. And a slam. Oh, nice. Slam, elbow, back sent on combination. I think Kieran's leveled the playing field a bit. James Phil had the distinct advantage for some time, but those three moves in quick succession crowd getting behind Kieran. Oh, could it be the Kieran crash down? James is not in a good part of town. So James. Kieran goes for the Kieran crash down, but nobody home. No water in the pool. James Farrell still feeling the effects of the, the slam elbow drop. Back sent on combination. Oh, here we go. Now he's alive. Nice sunset flip vaulting. Oh, what a back elbow. Good God, is he out? I could have knocked him out. That was the Olympic explosive power. He dove and charged hard. Connected as well. Perfect target. And indeed, I mean, you asked the question, is Kieran out? Well... Certainly looking dazed. Oh, Kieran fought him off earlier. 
kicked him off earlier, but just got slammed that time. Kieran's not in a position to be able to fight James Farrell off. And Kieran tried to position himself close to the ropes, but James Farrell had it scouted. James Farrell with an uppercut. Oh, and another takes Kieran off his feet. James Farrell calls for one more. The crowd are firmly behind Kieran. Oh, I say that. But apparently, they do want one more. Kieran's countering with a backslide. No, James Farrell with a counter of his own. Could it be a backslide of his own? What's going on? James Farrell walking the ropes. Look at that. Nice inside cradle. Oh, what a clothesline. Nice back and forth there. Neither man able to get the backslide. James Farrell walking up the ropes. And eventually coming out the better with a clothesline. And what does James Farrell have in mind here? Oh, a big jumping leg drop. As I mentioned earlier, such an explosive athlete, such powerful legs, the height he got on that jump was incredible. Indeed. Someone who did participate in high jumping. And that uh, puts, puts the experience to good use. Tim Farrell says it's done. And now stalking Kieran Lacey. He's got him in the crosshairs. What could he be going for here? The Olympic slam. Kieran fought out of it. But James Farrell now with strikes of his own. Looking for a corner posting. Kieran switched it. Farrell depositing Kieran out the ring. Kieran stayed on the apron. Blocks a strike and hits a forearm of his own. It could be Kieran's turn now. We saw James Farrell come in earlier with the sunset. What's Kieran going to do? Vaults in off the back. Ducks a back elbow. Cross oh, wow. Nice James Farrell taking a nasty knock to the head there, but still able to kick out before the referee's count of three. As both competitors are getting more tired, James Farrell not able to catch that cross press. He caught a crossbody earlier on. And now Kieran going up top again! He kind of caught him. He caught him enough. Oh my gosh. Lifting Powering him through. from the floor. My goodness, on his back. Kieran elbowing out for dear life. Repeated clubs to the back. And now Kieran just, the fumes are running out. There's not much gas left in the tank. He literally just collapsed in exhaustion. Both men so exhausted, they're leaning on each other for support. But James Farrell strikes first. Kieran returns though. Shop. Come on, Kieran, you've got to give it back to him. A slightly better shot than before, but Kieran still needs to connect better. Oh, just back and forth strikes. Both men found a second wind. Oh, what a counter! Wow. Almost schoolboyed him out of a scissor kick. Oh, but not that time. Kieran Lacey's head planted into the canvas. He looks to be out. This could be it. Not quite. James Rob says it's only a two. James Rob was so exhausted. It looked like it was exhausting just pushing Kieran onto his back. James Farrell indicating that he wants to end this. What move is he going to pull out of the playbook now? He's going to have to dig deep. What is he going to use to put away Kieran Lacey? Well, he's taking off his wrist tape. He means business. Sizing him up. I know he's tired, but he might want to just grab a hold of Kieran and hit the move now, because although it's exhausting to drag your opponent up. You're giving Kieran valuable rest time. Olympic slam! Kieran managed
fighting to get out of the ring. Kieran grabbing hold of the rope to save himself from an Olympic slam and a kick to the face. James Farrell's in position. If Kieran could just get himself to do it, he's got him. Kieran crashed down. That's it, this could be it. Are we about to see a new Reservoirs champion? No. I thought Kieran Lacey just won the WrestleForce Undisputed Championship right there. And he's too exhausted to capitalize and keep going. Both men exhausted, frustrated. Someone yelling out, finish him. Easier said than done. Both men are absolutely exhausted. Kieran's going up top again. This time, James Farrell rolls out the way. Olympic oh, slam! Out of nowhere! The Olympic slam! Is this it? It is. Here is your winner. And still, undisputed WrestleForce champion, James Farrell. Well, he came so close. Kieran Lacey can be very proud, although he wasn't successful in winning the WrestleForce Undisputed Championship, he can be proud in the fact that he took James Farrell, the current champion, to the limit there. James Farrell had to, had to pull out everything and then some. And good sportsmanship, Dave Farrell, there's mutual respect there. Both men got the best out of one another. Well, that means next week, James Farrell takes on Jay Joshua for the WrestleForce Undisputed Championship. What a match that's going to be. Kieran Lacey has a match with Jordan Saeed. There won't be a title at stake for that match, but nevertheless, a great opportunity for Kieran Lace to get a big victory there. Thank you very much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a WrestleForce match. And we'll see you next time here on WrestleForce TV.